Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Ozone 11's Mastering Assistant. First and foremost, a heartfelt shout out and thank you to Native Instruments for kindly providing this software for me to demonstrate to you today. You will need to be running Logic in Rosetta mode, as in Apple Silicon mode, VoiceOver will not see these controls. Isotope are aware of this, and hopefully will issue a fix soon. So let's get started. Currently, I'm on a link button, so I'm going to go ahead and view a radio hotel here. Assistant view. Full mix, vocals, drums, bass, on assistant view. Now I'm going to hit VO space. And because the elements in the plugin have changed, the voiceover cursor is now at the top of the window. I'm going to hit VO end. There's really nothing in this view that we need to worry about. Ready to listen. It's ready to listen. And if we view a left arrow. Play the loudest section of your mix. It says play the loudest section of your mix. Normally, this would be your chorus in most cases. It is the case in this song. So I got the chorus queued up here and I'm going to hit space. And what's going to happen is that it's going to analyze my audio for about 10 seconds and it's going to apply the processing that it sees fit for this song. So let's see if it does a good job. Do you watch your ears? It will get loud. Three, two, one. Now because elements have changed once again, voiceover is now back at the top of the window. I'm going to go ahead and view a red arrow until I hear auto gain enable unchecked. Redo, view, editor, link, assist, detailed view, auto gain enable, unchecked. As a side note, unchecked actually means it's on. So as you work with this plugin, please keep that in mind. Isotope have included this to combat loudness bias. So if you were to bypass any of the modules in the chain, Ozone will keep everything at the same volume so you can hear what's going on in your track. If we view a red arrow, Bypass, unchecked. We have a bypass. It's pretty self-explanatory. We learn. If you want to process a different section of your song, you can do that. By moving your playhead to that section, VO spacing on this, hitting space to feed it the audio, and let it apply the processes that it sees fit. Options, unchecked. Help dialog. Options and help. Pretty self-explanatory. Targets. Add target. Tonal balance. Vocal balance. Genre-based targets. Reference file-based targets. Genre-based targets and reference file based targets. A target is basically telling Ozone what to model your track after. In the case of genre, for example, there's country, EDM, folk, hip hop, jazz, pop, R&B, soul, reggae, rock, and they also have a cinematic one as well. And of course, these all have different dynamic settings, EQ settings, imaging settings, maximizer settings, things like that. And then there's also the reference file based target. So if you have a song in mind that would fit your track, you can import that track into Ozone and it will apply the EQ of the loud the dynamics to your track. And that's where the add target button comes in that we passed on the way here. So usually the way that I would work this is I would select a genre. By default, it likes to pick rock for this one. Let's click around on a couple different genres and we're going to ignore the sliders in here for the time being. I will of course come back to them and explain what they do in a moment, but let's go and click around on some genres and see what we like best. Stabilizer amount. So I just hit VO end, and now I'm just going to VO left arrow to this window and find something. Vocal maxim maximize 25 rock. So here's the rock one, which is the one that it picked. So as you could hear, as we were clicking through the genres, the EQ settings were changing, the imaging was changing, the dynamics, a lot of that stuff was moving around. Isotope claimed that they have studied chart topping hits in these genres to get you a really good starting point for your specific use case in that genre. So let's click a few other ones and see where we land. <laughs> So as you can especially tell with cinematic, it is very wide. That's how a lot of these tracks are. 
in that world. Hip-hop, of course, has a lot of low-end. Pop is somewhat bright with some low-end, less than hip-hop. Rock is mid-focused. I like EDM the best. One X EDM. So I've gone ahead and chosen it. Now I'm going to go back to the reference file base target button. Extra. 0 0.8 million reference file base targets. And VO space on that. And now, when we go back through that window, we won't have genres getting in the way of our elements. So there's just less things to voice over over, and honestly, it's a little less cluttered. We will get to adding a target, because we can do that at the end of this video. But for now, let's twist some knobs and see what they do. I'm going to VO right over here. 0.8 million 341,439 vocal level amount. So these actually have help tags. So if you hit V or Shift H, adjust the vocal level of the track. You hear what it does. If you have a stereo file and you don't have any way of getting the stems, you can actually then go adjust different aspects of your mix. Vocals being one of them, and it does a pretty good job. I personally like where the vocals are at, so I'm not going to touch this. Vocal level power button unchecked. That's just a bypass level, and that's just a text label for what that's supposed to be. 100. Equalizer amount. So this next slider here is the equalizer amount. If we hit VR Shift H. Scales the amount of tonal balance adjustment applied toward matching the track to the selected target. Basically what this means is that the further up you have this, the more tonal or EQ balance it's going to apply based on what you have selected as a target. Whether it's a genre, whether it's your file, 0 is minimum, 200 is maximum, and 100 is halfway. I personally like where this is at as well, so I'm not going to touch this either. Extras. EQ power button unchecked. Equalizer. 50. Dynamics match amount. Scales the amount of dynamics processing applied toward matching the track to the selected target. This one focuses on dynamics. This is very, very subtle. So you might not even hear what's happening if I were to adjust this slider here. In essence, though, this is how much dynamics processing you want. I think it's fine at half. Vocal level power. Dynamics match. Loudness. Output level. Full scale. Maximizer destination selector. So this maximizer destination selector only has two modes, the streaming mode and the full scale mode. The full scale mode is for clubs and DJs. True peak is turned off and your output ceiling is minus 0 0.01. So not at zero, but nudging right up against it. You have a range of minus six to plus six dB of gain with that input slider. If you have the streaming mode selected, it is set to minus 10 LUFs integrated and you have a minus four to plus four gain range with that input slider with the output ceiling at minus 0 0.01 and your true peak is on. So this is meant for streaming services such as Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, where things are compressed and maximized and they have their loudness settings set to on. This all really depends what this is all going for. If it's going for streaming, set it to streaming. If you plan to have this played at events, set it to full scale so your DJ can get a full uncompressed lossless version of your song so they can have the best quality available to them. 50. Dynamics match amount. Scales the amount of stereo imaging applied toward matching the width of the track to the selected target. This is a width control. In Ozone, Standard and Advanced, you have four bands that you can adjust your width control for. So maybe your low end is a bit narrow and your high is a bit wide. In this case, this is very subtle, so I'll just leave it at 50 as well. Vocal level power button, uncheck width match. Zero, maximizer amount. Adjust the input gain to the maximizer module based on the measured integrated loudness. Because we're on full scale, we have a minus six to plus six range of decibels. So if it's too hot, you can bring it down here or you can drive it a little. 25, dynamics match amount. Scales the amount of clarity processing. Clarity tends to bring out a sheen in this use case. So if we turn it up, you'll be able to hear that the highs are very exaggerated. So I'm going to go ahead and hit space and sweep it up to 100. <laughs> So as you could hear, it got very sharp up there. So I like to put it around 20 when I have the EDM preset, at least for this song. Vocal level power, clarity amount, 25. Stabilizer amount amount, scales the amount of stabilizer processing. Depending on which genre you have set, this messes with the mids in the rock preset and more, more or less the highs in the EDM preset. Rather than me just talk about it, let me go ahead and sweep this up to 100 and you'll be the judge of what you hear.
So I like this at 49, or close to 50, really. But see what it did there? It brought out the highs. It also helped in bringing out a sheen as well. But it's not as focused on making the sibilance and the vocals pop out as much. So now I'm going to show you guys the add target button and how you can import your own track. A note before I go ahead and do that, I chose this because it is drastically different. This song is called On a Warm Beach. I chose it because it's a lo-fi song, totally different than what this is. I wanted to show in an exaggerated manner what bringing in your own reference target would be like. So let's go ahead and find the Add Target button, VO Home, Stereo Out, and then VO Right Arrow until I get to Add Target button. Toolbar, Redo, View, Add Link, Assist, Detect, Auto, get, Reload, Options, uh, Help, dot, Targets, Add Target. There we go. List, one item selected. And it's like your normal open dialog. I just navigated to my file. We'll soon see a delete target button, and that's how we know that it imported successfully. Auto by relearn option help dot targets delete target. There we go. So now we don't necessarily have to click anything. It actually analyzed the file when I hit enter on it. Now I can just hit space, and you'll hear the drastic difference. So it's gone ahead and matched EQ, loudness, dynamics, basically took that file, took a snapshot of what the audio was, analyzed it, and applied processing. This is beyond the scope of this video, but you can actually click the detailed view, go in and mess around with your signal chain, and mess around with the parameters and stuff and change things around if you feel so inclined. Let this be a good starting point, tweak some knobs, if you're not completely satisfied, go into the details view and mess with parameters there as well. I hope this information has been of some use to you. For the latest information on these products, please visit www.isotope.com. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I hope you guys have a great day. And as we say here at Logic Band, happy recording. Thanks for watching.